Hello, my name is Aaron. In this demonstration, I will be explaining about the performing a computer forensic investigation using the Helix tool, which is very, very key important tool for cyber forensics. So the, the download can be uh, done through this events.com, helix3.pro. So Helix3 is a unique tool, which has collection of all uh, various tools is a must for every computer forensic okay person i mean uh, you can have a multi-platform live of three environments for mac windows and linux which is single interface i mean within a simple to use interface make forensic images of all internal devices make a forensic image of memory and not only that you can even do images for all the disks etc and you can do hash i had already a downloaded copy so this is uh, about 694 mb of size you can download and then uh, if you want to run yes you can run this helix application okay i'm straight away opening this uh, helix uh, program so this is the application once you open this uh, you have to accept the license so this is the main menu of uh, various collection of tools from Helix. So the first one is the option which you have is uh, preview the system information. So on whichever system you run, you get the information, basic information. Uh, you get the owner information, the network information, most important one, like the host name, the username, the IP address and the uh, MAC address of the network card. Okay, if there is a domain which is connected, you'll be able to get and also the drive partitions you can see c drive d drive e drive f drive and the sizes and partition type if there is a label label also will be produced this is all about system information still more uh, you can click uh, to view this running process which are there these are all the system processes okay <clears throat> which are from operating system as well as from uh, the application services these are all the active running process so now let me move ahead with the next uh, icon, which is acquisition. So you can see this, uh, the source is, uh, I mean, the memory, which I have is about uh, 8 GB of memory. Uh, destination is uh, images, image name is, uh, I can take the entire image, acquire means the entire, whether I can take image of uh, memory or even the logical drives also. Suppose if I tried doing this uh, 1 GB, uh, I can, I can, uh, destination also I can choose where I want to place it. Suppose if I want to place it in forensics, okay, uh, of this F drive uh, by name image.dd, I can acquire. But most important one is, uh, you can see this imager. So this will launch FTK major, FTK major. This is very important, uh, which is a part of uh, Helix tools. Okay, uh, once you launch this uh, FTK major, you can go to create a disk image and uh, select this uh, contents of the folder. Maybe say next, you can ignore this uh, warning, say yes, enter the source path. You can uh, select the image files from your locations. I will go to e column and uh, go to tools say this uh, image files the image files say okay and say finish so you can define the image destination uh, i'll create the case number also i can uh, add maybe case number is 301 evidence number one unique description for uh, investigation examiner notes or email id or some reference number you can give say next define the image destination i will uh, have this in forensics directory say okay image file name is okay case uh, 301 something like this and say finish and say start so all the files which are there will be added into the image this is creating image and say close okay let me verify whether this image has been formed or not in this forms directory you can see this uh, case 301 image has been created 
Okay, so let me move ahead with the next option. Next option. So before I move, I'll close this FTK major. So you have further more RAM equations also there. Uh, you can uh, go through with this one also. And incident response. You see this? <coughs> okay. Uh, you can select this agile risk management. Ignore this. Okay. So this is the main menu of uh, vigilant file. You can uh, preview the disk. You can select any of the partition. Uh, but don't select the C drive. Don't select the C drive. Okay, I'm selecting uh, one of the drive. I'll say apply. You can see uh, the files and the folders are available here. I can uh, select any one of the file. Maybe I can say from photos or something JPG. You can even see the contents. The, the, I mean the uh, hex decimal view of the file. Any you can select any of the file. In this way, you can easily analyze the contents of the file. Okay. So this is about uh, previewing the disk. And let me move ahead in the tools. Okay. Snapshot computer. This is a very important aspect. It will take a overall view of all the uh, existing services and process list, etc. All these things are displayed across. You can save this. You can say this this has a crucial all the important information about the services it will be saved in a text format you can say snapshot so save so you can even later on uh, use this uh, information for uh, evidence collection snapshot okay a, a kind of report it starts with uh, all uh, your process ids modules and all uh, it is important aspect okay still more are there in this in tools you can even uh, capture the image of the physical memory you can see this when you say start yes uh, uh, you can even store this into this 8 gb file it will take a huge long time uh, the complete image can be stored across i mean image store or something like that and then if you say save uh, you can uh, store it into the file of the entire uh, image of the memory okay so this is how we can manage uh, i mean uh, this uh, nigelit so i'll uh, quickly go back to the other areas of uh, incident response and you can see this uh, this in incident response we have one more thing which is hash you can select a file you can select a file any file and see what is the hash value okay this is mainly used for your data integrity to see if there is any mismatch after you take backup or something like that you can verify whether things has been properly copied or not or even you can store this hash values for uh, uh, any kind of manipulations done or not to know whether manipulations done or not etc so you can do for files or for folders or even for uh, volumes etc also but this displays about this file. Okay, this is about uh, incident. And now let me move ahead with file recovery. This is also an important one. Like you can select English and say tick. Okay, we can select uh, the options. Maybe a logical drive or a physical drive. Okay, I will uh, maximize this. You can uh, select this check and see drive. Okay, here the entire volumes are displayed. Like, let me say something on uh, uh, E drive or F drive or something like that. I can uh, scan it, etc. Maybe let me do on C drive itself. It will scan and uh, it will show the results. Retrieving existing files, any recovery which can be done. Take a little bit of time. <coughs> 